should you take notes on the iPad or should you take notes on paper? Well, that's a question that a lot of students are asking and I feel like I have the perfect answer for which device should be the worst note-taking device ever in history. And today, I want to share that with you. And I'll reveal which note-taking device that I use that helped me remember a lot of things during studying. So today, I want to talk about the pros, the cons of both devices. The pros and cons of paper and the pros and cons of the iPad. All right, let's get into it. So, the iPad. Let's start with the iPad first. A lot of students like taking notes on the iPad. And I want to share some pros about taking notes on the iPad. The first pro is that everything is on one device. This means all your files, all your notes, everything can be stored on this one device. That's so wonderful. You don't know how convenient storing everything on one device can be. Because that means that you don't have to rummage through everything, all your paper notes, all your books to find the exact notes you want. Because you can just go on your iPad and hit Command F. And it's like, it's just that simple to find something that you're looking for. And it's so convenient because you can just carry your iPad anywhere you go. And it's so small as well. So my next pro of the iPad is it's a small and compatible device. This means since everything is stored on that one device, you don't have to go carrying around 10, 20 books, one book for like each of your subjects. And so the thing about the iPad is that everything is stored in one place and it's like worth 1000 books in one device. How wonderful is that? And with the addition, if you have an iPad, an Apple pen, oh, it's so wonderful because with an Apple Pen, navigating on the iPad becomes so much easier, so much more efficient. Efficient for you to take notes. The third pro I want to talk about using the iPad is that you can add pictures to your notes. Adding pictures to your notes is something that I realize is extremely helpful. Adding pictures to your notes, and you can do it so easily on the iPad because you could just go take a photo, and then chuck that photo into wherever you want and it's right there and you can like annotate the picture and so that becomes so convenient for you because if you are able to annotate notes annotate the pictures then when you look at back at your notes it becomes so much more clear on what this thing actually means because you've all heard that phrase of a picture describes a thousand words and it's so true a picture describes 1,000 words. The good thing about the iPad is that with adding pictures, you can also add annotated notes to those pictures. And so when you add annotated notes to your pictures, you can legit just write what the professor, what the lecturer, what your teacher says, slash whatever they write down onto the picture. And that just makes it so much more easier, so much more convenient for you to take notes. Okay. Now let's move on to the cons of the iPad. Well, the uh, one and only con that I can think of for the iPad is that it's such a small device. An iPad is such a small device and that means you can sort of only view one page at a time. So you can't just have questions on one page and then you can write the answers on another. It's like you have to see the question, then scroll down and then write your notes. This becomes sort of inconvenient because maybe you just want to see the questions and you're working out on one page, but you can't really do that on the iPad because it's such a small frame. It's such a small area that you can take notes on. But I guess what you can do is you can buy a larger device, a device with a larger screen size. And obviously that will help. And I know the iPad, you can split screens on the iPad. But the thing about splitting screens on the iPad is that it becomes so much more smaller. Each page just becomes so much more smaller. That just makes it so you can't see that much. And the other annoying thing about having such a small space is when you write stuff, it becomes hard to see where you're writing on the page. So yeah, that's the one con of taking notes on the iPad. 
and of course there are gonna be so many more cons out there but yeah okay so now let's move on to the paper paper book slash refill paper let's talk about the pros of taking notes on paper the first pro is that you get to remember a lot more information when you take notes on paper there was a study though where they got participants to take notes on an iPad and take notes on paper. And they all did the same test. And they were like, you have to be prepared for this test. We're gonna make up a test and we're gonna make you sit it. And so what they did is they got two different groups where one group took notes on the iPad and one group took notes on paper. The results came out to be surprising because the participants who took notes on paper actually did so much better than people who took notes on the iPad. And it's just like, you think about it. Taking paper notes, it's something that we've done for hundreds of years. I'm not gonna say thousands because our ancestors probably didn't have paper. But hundreds of years, we've been taking notes down on paper. And then suddenly we just entered this new era, this era of taking notes on something like the iPad. So of course I feel like we're gonna remember more when we take notes on paper. Because like the good old British people when you know there was castles, knights, archers, dragons, maybe not dragons, but yeah, those things were around. People would have scribes and they would treat like paper as such wonderful things because you could just empty your thoughts down on paper. And so that's why I feel like you remember a lot more when you try to take notes on paper than when you try to take notes on the iPad. And of course, studies show that you remember a lot more. So that's a pro, right? Okay, the second pro. This one's a quite weird one. The second pro is you feel the paper. I know, quite weird. But it's like, you get that sense of paper touch. You get that sense of you're actually writing something down. Because unlike the iPad, it just feels like you're not writing anything down, if you see what I mean. Because you just have an Apple pen and you have a device. You're not really writing something down, you're not engraving your words down. But when you take notes on paper, it just feels like you're engraving your thoughts, you're engraving your wisdom, you're engraving your mind into that piece of paper. And that just makes you feel like you're actually doing work. Because if you're inscribing, if you're indenting, if you're making a dent into the paper and you actually write some words down, it just feels so nice to be writing those words down. Because it feels like you're actually emptying out your mind more. And I know, I know, this is a quite strange pro of taking notes on paper. But I feel like it's a really good pro. And nobody really talks about it. Because taking notes on paper, oh my god. It's like you actually just feel a sense of flow through that whole process. And so those were the two pros of taking notes on paper. Now, let's move on to the cons of taking notes on paper. The first con is that you end up having a lot of paper lying around. And I mean a lot. Let me show you this. This is like one week's worth of paper notes. Maybe two. Maybe I'm over exaggerating. But you have a lot of paper. And I mean a lot of paper and a lot of pens that are scrap, that are refill, that are waste. You waste so much paper, you waste so much pen. And it's just like... Kind of a waste. So that's a really bad thing about taking notes on paper. Because you end up just throwing away the paper afterwards. And it's like, you know, environmental damage and all of that. So yeah, obviously that's a con of taking notes on paper. Where you just end up having a lot of paper lying around and a lot of scrap pens lying around. Because if you really want to take good notes, you're gonna be writing a lot of words. The second con about taking notes on paper is that you can't erase, so your notes are gonna look messy AF. Your notes are really gonna be looking so messy. Because the thing is, you can't erase pen. You can't erase pen on paper, unless you have a erasable pen. That's a thing, and I use it, but it's like, what's the point? It's gonna look messy anyways. And it's like, taking notes on paper, it's gonna look really messy. All your notes are gonna be everywhere. But when you're taking notes on the iPad, you can move your notes around, you can erase stuff. But I guess this part is not really a con if you see it as a con. What do I mean by that? 
Well, if you see that being messy, having notes that are messy is a bad thing, then you can associate it to being bad. But if you see notes as a good thing, as like messy notes equals good, then yeah, taking notes and having messy notes is a pro. Because maybe you find messy things to be more organized, more suitable for you. Now, what do I suggest? Well, not gonna lie, maybe you thought I was gonna say iPad, but I feel like paper all day, every day. Why? The first pro of taking notes on paper, you get to remember a lot more stuff. And that's the primary reason I take all my notes on paper, because what do you actually want to do when you're taking notes? You want to remember more things, right? And so if paper allows you to remember more things, then I feel like it'll be such a waste to not write notes on paper. And paper is relatively cheap. It's like $5 for like double the size of this times two. And so like if it's cheap, if it helps you remember more stuff and all the cons is you just get a lot of paper lying around which you can recycle then that's still a good thing it's still worth taking notes on paper i feel like a lot of students end up not realizing the potential paper notes have and they end up just taking notes on ipad because you know everything is on one place they can erase stuff erasing stuff is all good and i have nothing against it but the thing is when you're actually taking notes you don't really have time to erase your notes do you you have to just Write your notes really quickly and be like, okay, okay, yeah. If there's an error somewhere, if you made a spelling mistake, there's no time for you to go back. And it's sort of a waste of time for you to go back and just change that little error. It's like if you spell something wrong, you are S-O-M-E-T-I-N-G and you missed the H there. When you're taking notes on iPad, you have to go, okay, click on the erase tool, erase the thing, and then write the something again. But on paper, you can just go, okay, some and then you can just go thing you can just write thing on the end of some and that's some thing you still remember it after even though it looks messy you can still remember you can still realize that some thing is something if that makes sense so yeah that's why i believe taking paper notes is the go is the way so yeah that was the whole video if you liked it i think you might like one of my other videos listed right there or there or there so yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time